CINAHL stands for Cumulative Index to Nursing and Allied Health Literature, so it's a really good database to search for articles on nursing topics. Searching CINAHL is a little different than searching other databases that you might have used before. You'll notice that above the search box it says Suggest Subject Terms, and there is a check mark in the box. This means that whatever keywords we enter, the database will try to match them to CINAHL's subject language. Using the subject language of the database generally produces better, more on-topic results. In order for this process to take place, we will only enter one concept at a time, build our search, and then add our limits. For today's search, imagine that your clinical placement was at a facility where MetaHoney was used for wound care. We want to know if the use of MetaHoney speeds up and or improves wound healing. If you've never heard of MetaHoney before, you might want to search it on Medline Plus or Google to find out what it is. Our search terms will be MetaHoney and Wound Care. First we will type in MetaHoney. We get a list of possible subject headings to match our keywords. In this case, if we look through the list, we don't find MetaHoney until the bottom of the list. It is highlighted in pink and it says that we can search as keyword. This means that we won't get the benefit of using the subject language, but sometimes there just isn't a match. We'll select MetaHoney and then Search Database. Along with the search results, we also get a search history. This will keep track of each search that we run, as well as any limits we place, and allow us to combine searches. Sometimes when we search and don't find exactly what we're looking for, we have to think a little broader. Let's try searching for Honey. We can see that Honey is a subject heading. If we click in the box for Major Concept, this will search for only articles that are focused on Honey, rather than just a sentence or two about it. Once we select a subject heading, a list of subheadings will appear in a blue column. We can use these subheadings to narrow and focus our search to a specific aspect of a topic. Most often, we want to keep things pretty broad at this stage of the search process because when we start combining our search terms, our results will get greatly reduced. However, in this case, let's select the subheading Therapeutic Use because that's what we're specifically interested in. We now have two searches in our search history, both describing the same topic. Let's combine these two searches. In order to do this, we will select both searches with a check mark in the box to their left, and then we will search with OR. We combine searches with OR when we are using similar concepts or synonyms. This will expand our search to retrieve all results that contain one term or the other, giving us a larger set of results. Next, we'll search for our second concept, wound care. We'll type wound care into the search box and select search. We can see that wound care is a subject heading in CINAHL. Notice the scope note at the far right of the line. The scope note will give you some context as to how the subject term is being used in the database and will sometimes provide suggestions for alternate subject headings that you could try. If we scan the list of possible subject headings, are there any others that might be suitable for our topic? It doesn't look like it, so we'll select Major Concept, Beside Wound Care, and Search Database. Now we need to ask ourselves if there are any other terms that we could use for wound care. For example, would wound healing be a relevant term? Let's give it a try. We type wound healing into the search box and search. We can see that wound healing is a subject heading. Let's check the scope note to see if it's relevant for our search. It looks good, so let's add it to our search by selecting major concept and search database. Let's combine wound care and wound healing with search with or. We've searched for both of our concepts, and now we're ready to combine them. This time we'll search with AND, because we're combining different concepts, and we want them both to be present in every article that is retrieved. Since we've already combined some of our searches with OR, we only want to select the combined searches to search with AND. The new search that has appeared in our search history gives us results that contain both of our concepts, MetaHoney and Wound Care. Next, we need to apply some limits to ensure that articles meet the requirements of our assignment. Scroll down to Refine Results, where you will see a heading, Limit 2. 
The limits that we currently see down the left-hand side of the screen are set up for all of the EBSCOhost databases that the library subscribes to, but we've already seen that CINAHL is a little bit different than other databases, and it has its own set of limits, which we can access by following the Show More link underneath the publication date. This leads us to a new pop-up screen containing all of the CINAHL-specific limits. For your assignment, you need to find peer-reviewed primary research articles. There is a limit for peer-reviewed journals only. Let's select this limit. You'll also see that there is a limit for research article. CINAHL is the only database that allows you to limit your search results to research articles. However, the category of research articles pertains to primary and secondary research articles, and your assignment requires you to find primary or original research articles. So if you choose this limit, you will still have to determine whether each research article retrieved contains primary or secondary research. Instead, let's scroll down to find the limit for publication type. Scrolling through the options, we find clinical trial and randomized control trial, both of which refer to primary research. We can select both terms by holding down the control key on the keyboard while we click on them. Now scroll to the top or the bottom of the pop-up screen and select search. We're left with a small set of results but each item should meet the requirements of your assignment and be on topic. Please remember that you should always save information as you find it. You need to make sure that you have all the necessary information to reference the source. You may need to go back and find it again to check your facts, and this particular assignment requires you to attach a PDF copy of the article to your assignment. If we click through to the record for one of the articles, we can see that there is a set of tools along the right-hand side of the screen, including print, email, and save, all of which are good options. Bookmarking the article is not recommended because it will not bring you back to the article page, but rather a login screen for which you have no login. Instead, use the permalink. When you select this tool, it provides a new URL that will always bring you back to this page. Also, when you are creating your APA at Conestoga Reference for this item, there is no DOI or database information available. You need to include a URL as part of your retrieval statement in your reference. You will use the permalink rather than the URL in the address bar. This concludes our CINAHL tutorial. You now know how to use CINAHL to find peer-reviewed primary research articles for your assignment. If you encounter any problems when conducting your research, please contact the library.